All right, one consequence of affirmative action going away is that universities now have to figure out how to admit students. They can't use a, a race as a qualifier. They can't use it to keep out Asians, which is the primary thing they used it for. Uh, and uh, they now have to find an alternative. Now, you could, you could assume that the alternative would be something like, I don't know, merit, test scores, quality of essay. Uh, but uh, there is now a push to, um, uh, to use a new tool, a powerful new tool, to, to, uh, you know, to take in uh, new students and, and to guarantee that there is, uh, there is, I guess, some form of diversity among uh, those students coming in uh, into, uh, into our universities. Uh, this is a, 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 new, a new guidelines that has been pioneered by the medical school at University of California, Davis. Shocking that it, this is in California. And the new tool is, just in case you weren't sure on how, you know, the, the significance and power and influence of altruism in our culture, the new tool is caused called the adversity score. So students will be scored based on how much adversity they faced. And the head of admissions, um, he says, uh, look, mostly rich kids get to go to medical school. I want kids to face adversity. I wonder if rich kids can face adversity and if rich kids who face adversity count or is it only adversity faced by poor kids? Um, so um, they say the disadvantage scale has helped turn UC Davis, this is from a New York Times article, into one of the most diverse medical schools in the country. Uh, and this is a consequence of the fact that in 1996, um, California banned affirmative action. So they used diversity, <coughs> adversity scores to replace affirmative action. So now, uh, the more you suffer... Uh, the, the more you can show that you're poor or you struggle or whatever, the more likely you are to get into med school. Um, if I ever go to a doctor's office and I say a diploma on the wall that says you got a degree at UC Davis, I am leaving. I am walking out. I do not want a surgeon to cut me open or a doctor to advise me who got into medical school because of adversity. And who knows, maybe the grades they get are based on their adversity. I don't know. I, I, there's no guarantee of that. So uh, uh, this is really spooky. Really spooky. And uh, it, it truly, is, uh, truly is scary, right? Um, I, uh, Darren says, why are you in favor of the rainbow cult? I'm not. I just think the right is nuts about it. That's all. I, I'm not in favor of, uh, of the, the subjectivism. I'm not in favor of the nuttiness. I'm not in favor of the, the nihilism expressed by many in the LGBTQ community and by some of the kind of behavior in pride, of, pride events. But I also think the right has gone crazy over this. And I'm just pointing that out. You can be against... You can be against... Uh, some of the uh, some of the nuttiness of the LGBTQ community, without endorsing the bigotry of Ron DeSantis, uh, the 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 the, the uh, you know call it what you want to call it, the complete insanity and panic, real panic, moral panic, of uh, of uh, Matt Walsh and uh, what's the other guy, the the, the twelve twenty guy and. Uh, and Ron DeSantis, you, you know, the, you could hold two things at the same time. These guys are bad, and these guys are crazy for freaking out. Um, anyway, 20 schools have recently requested more information about the adversity score, sc uh, score um, and uh, about to implement it. So uh, you are now going to have people graduating from college admitting into college at, at least and maybe graded in college. I, I, I don't know. Now based on their ability, and, and the scariest one is medical school, right? The scariest one is, is, is medical school. You, you, we now have to research uh, who goes to medical school and how they're graded so that we know, right? Um, and, um, you know, all based on how much you suffered. Now, I, adversity 
could be a factor. Overcoming adversity is certainly a, a, a strong, uh, a, you know, manifestation of a of, of certain character. And uh, it, it's not it's not bad to be uh, somebody who overcomes adversity, and that could be a plus, and certainly should be and can be a factor in making a decision. I mean, uh, uh, but hopefully, test scores, ability, commitment, uh, uh, grades, uh, you know, some other measures of first intelligence and second just commitment to the field. Uh, you know, an ability ab ability to communicate. There are lots of things that you need in order to be a good doctor. And uh, those are super, super important. Add to that some factor for adversity, fine. I don't have a problem with that if it's focused on the character building, the individual. Right.